Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Robin Taylor and Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Here I do makeup tutorials, reviews, and giveaways. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. So today I'm gonna be doing this little cut crease eye makeup tutorial look. When I tell you it, it took me some time, but this is actually pretty easy to do. And I really like the way it turned out. So if you like to see how I got this look, please keep watching. Okay, so first to start, I'm just gonna make my eyelids a little lighter just so the color shows better on me. I'm gonna prime it with a lighter concealer and this concealer is the NYX Concealer in Tan. And I'm just gonna use that to pretty much prime my eyelid. Okay, so for my transition color, I'm gonna use this brown. I'm using a combination of the 39A palette and my Galaxy palette by Fenty. And I'm gonna use this color right here to start off my transition color. Oh, now tell me now, tell me now, tell me now, you know. And then I'm gonna use a flatter brush and then I'm gonna go in with a burgundy color right here. Makes me feel like I can live with I'm just gonna use that to line a little bit and then push it up. Just to add a little bit more color to that. And now I wanna go with a really, really dark brown. Do I have a really dark brown? I'm just really brown, so like really dark browns aren't like brown for me, so I have to use a black man. Now for the black, I really want a very flat angled brush. But I don't think I have one, so we're just gonna. And don't worry, I am gonna blend that out. Oh, oh, now, tell me now. I like how this one came out. And not how this one came out, but we gonna fix it. Ooh, the reason I hold on. Well, I'm just gonna keep blending this out until it looks really, really good. Okay, so I blended it out and this still looks pretty stupid, but it's gonna make sense later. So right now I'm gonna use my LA Girl Concealer and I'm gonna use that to pretty much prime my lid and help me cut it. Cause when you never see the light, it's hard to know which one of us This eye is coming along so great and this one looks like trash, straight trash. Sorry, we gonna fix it though. Something in the way you Makes me feel like I can't live without you. It takes me all the way in down or he and she. So I'm just gonna use this brush and just pretty much tap it so it could be a little bit dry. Yeah. Now, I do a gold. The gold would be hella bold, right? Let's go in with this color, and this is Sunburst. And then I'm gonna spray this with a little setting spray. Ooh, and let's try to get into this color. And I'm gonna try my best to stay within the line. A sneak peek of This is giving me like Egyptians vibe. Egyptians. Egypt, eat, whatever. And I am gonna take it out because I'm feeling a little adventurous. Where's my eyeliner? Oh, there it is. Let's hope for the best, girl. Let's hope for the best. You and I went in again. No more of you calling. Your friends. Yeah. Cause you know all my activities show more. I stopped talking because I'm low-key scared about how this is gonna turn out. 
This ain't even a tutorial. This is a watch me attempt. Everything's gonna make sense. In the name of Jesus, amen. For concealer, I'm using NYX and LA Girl, one in tan and one in chestnut, and then I'm gonna use that to contour. Touch me, love me, fuck me, hold me, touch me, love me. Now that I look dead, I'm gonna try to bring some life back into my face. And to set, I'm using the Patrick Star Patrick's powder, and that's the setting powder he recently came out with with Mac. And this is my crack. Can you see that on YouTube? Yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna use more product right here. I just hope he never discontinues this because this is life. And to contour, I'm gonna use my NW58 MAC powder. And this is the darkest color I believe they have, so it's perfect for contouring for me. I haven't tried cream contouring, but I probably will in the future. I just don't like blending, man. That joint takes forever, man. Like, I want to look cute and all, but damn. And now I'm going to contour my nose. And to go with the whole holiday theme, I'm most likely going to use one of these lipsticks. This is, I know these, like, usually MAC lipsticks are like $17. You guys, I think the reason I pause when I'm talking a lot, I really don't want to sound like really bad, but my name's Robina and I have ADHD. So I can't focus when I'm talking sometimes. Like I'll be talking about something and I'm like, ooh, Christmas tree, I need more ornaments. Like squirrel. Okay, so for these lipsticks, these are the part of one of like the holiday deals. There are four and I believe these were $24 and with tax they were 26. And yeah, each of these are $17 usually. This is Antique Velvet, Nude du, du Jour, Nouvelle Vogue, and Russian Red. I'm probably gonna use Mahogany from Patrick's collection with my Russian Red just to go with the whole holiday theme. Seven years of struggle. The only thing about mahogany is that if you're dark skin, in Maybelline I'm 370, in Fenty I'm 440, and in MAC I am NW48. So if you're a, of a deeper complexion like I am, mahogany just doesn't look burgundy. Dang, my tooth is crooked. It's even more crooked than I thought. Squirrel! So if you're a darker skin tone, like mahogany doesn't appear like really like burgundy. It kind of looks like a like a darker orangey red. I don't know. So that's not gonna work. I'm probably gonna use this to line it, and this is antique velvet. See, like this is how I want I wanted mahogany to appear on me, but you know. So I'm gonna go in with this color, and this is in the Antique Velvet. I'm gonna go in with this color, and this is Nude Du Jour. I'm gonna low-key ombre it. I like this better. It just matches the transition color, and that's the only reason I like it. Still holiday-ish, right? I got the gold. I'm using my V-Lux lashes. I feel like I don't even need to tell you guys what lashes I'm using because I use the same lashes in every video. So when I change it, I'll let you guys know. But all the products that I'm using will be in the description below, so you can go check that out. 
You know what everybody owns that I don't own? Black eyeliner. Why don't I own, like, not the liquid eyeliner, the actual pencil eyeliner? I always want to go at the bottom and, like, but I can't, because, you know. A way to fix that is, I'm going to go in my 39A palette by Morphe, and I'm going to go into the black color all the way at the bottom, and I'm going to use this pencil brush, and I'm going to try to attempt <laughs> to darken. Do I look fierce? Do I look like a grown woman? That I can do whatever I want? Whoa. Look what that did for my eyes. This didn't turn out half bad, you guys. See? I'm good. I'm good at what I do. Tell me about your fears and your dreams. I can show This is a glam AF holiday makeup tutorial. With me, let me tell you something. See, I like the most. Just because this is my favorite lip gloss now, I'm gonna go ahead and use Mama Star lip glass. And I believe this lip glass will look good on every skin tone. Every skin tone. Time took us apart by time. Hustler, baby. I know you. Dang, I've been using the wrong fan brush. This fan brush is lit. Come next to me. I can. Come here. Let me show them you. You're so cute. They already see you on my boyfriend. You're fine. His hair looks good. Come here. Come here. My man's cute. I don't know. What Come here. Come here. He's so shy. <laughs> Mark, come here. I said, come here. Come here. It's not like they haven't seen you already. They forgot what I look like. They did not forget what you look like. Yeah, they did. They know you look crusty. Anyway, so now it's time for me to dust this off because, you know, ain't nobody got time to be sitting out here. I still got to curl my hair and all that stuff. And every time I'm filming the video, my hair always look dusty. I need to start wearing earrings, man. Like, earrings are cute. Why don't I wear earrings? Mm, girl. You gotta do something with this hair. Oh. All right, well, this is the final look. I am actually pretty excited for how this turned out. Usually, I'm so basic with my eyeshadows, but like I said, you guys, keep pushing me to do different eyeshadow looks. So I'm actually glad that this is happening. This is a revolution. I never would have attempted this, especially on camera. So I'm really, really excited that this turned out the way it did. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And until next time, I will talk to you beauties later. Bye.